Hello and welcome to this very quick video on how to make sure that you can save changes to a PDF file. I did this because somebody asked me to do it. They have a PDF file that they've been using and when they fill it in and go to save it, it loses all the changes that they made to it. All the fill in fields are lost. Now I don't have a file that I can show you what the problem is, but if you've got the problem, you know it. You've gone ahead and you've filled in a form and you've gone to save it and when you open it up again, the contents are just not there. Now there is a quick workaround and that is to actually print it. So you go to file and then print and you would print it as a PDF. So you would effectively be baking those changes into the file. But you know what? You have to remember to do that and if you just save it because you save every other file once you've made changes to it and then you realize that you've lost all your changes, then that's just a right royal pain. So let's have a look at the real solution, the one that is going to make sure that you and everybody else that you send this file to can actually save it. Now you will need Adobe Acrobat Pro or you'll need somebody who does have it. So you could always send this to a friend who's got Adobe Acrobat and say, here's my PDF, here's the instructions, go do it for me and send it back. Because once they send it back to you, it's going to be able to be saved. And what you're going to do is you're going to open the PDF file up and you're going to choose file and then you'll choose save as other. And then you'll go to Reader Extended PDF. And then you'll go to Enable More Tools includes, you know what, Form Fill In and Save, which is exactly what the person who created that PDF did not do in the first place. And it's on them. They should have done this so that you could access. And if they didn't, then this is going to bite you. So all you're going to do is click this and go and save the file. And that version of the file can then be edited. So you can fill in the form fields and then you can hit the save button and it's going to save just fine. So test it before you do a really long document just to make sure you did it right, but that should be good to go. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and send me a comment to say that you enjoyed it and it worked for you. I'm not going to put it on to you to subscribe because I don't usually do these kind of videos, but it just seemed like a way of maybe helping some people that needed some help. So until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel.